Aki here from ESD Performance. So today we are installing this 12.3 Avin USA uh, Android to this turd. <laughs> uh, stay tuned. <laughs> First thing what you gotta do when dealing with every electronics on the cars or anything else you need to take off the battery but uh, because we're installing the screen here the thing what you need to do on E7 is, is you need to open your glove box because it's electronic and if you open the if you don't take the if you don't open the glove box before you take off the battery you need to put it back on so let's follow me so for taking the battery off, it's simple, you just lift everything up, there is two bolts here, two bolts down, one bolt here, uh, it's Phillips, take this off and just take the negative off from the battery with 10, 10 millimeter. Simple. These plastic tools, all kinds of, the more you have the better it is, but you just basically need really thin ones, which I don't have in this brand new kit, I guess I gotta go and, ah oh, no, right here, uh, really thin one. Got to get it out. Start first with this. This should just be coming forward. And when it comes forward, there is a bunch of uh, plugs on the back. Un just unplug everything. They're color coded, so it's easy to put back. And size is different, so this is off. Just put it aside. So now you see there is two Phillipses here on the corner for the screen and two Phillipses for the plastic in here. So we remove the screws in here, just pull it a little bit forward, tilt, and there is a couple of plugs on the back. Uh, one comes from the top, it's the, I think it's the uh, CAN bus or something, I don't care. Uh, come on. Okay, one off, then it's plugs. Take it, done. There's just two of them here, uh, purple and the, and the screen is off. Really easy and simple. Um, so now, on the bottom side, so now we got this thing a little bit more loose. So now you can start slowly prying. So it comes off all together. Just one side. Other side, starts moving slowly with hands, pull it out, again, a couple of plugs, they're all different, so don't worry about it, just be, just remember like all of them that you take out needs to go back in, so if you don't, then something is not working later. Uh, let me see. Okay, and just put it aside so you don't break these, these plastics are usually really, really brittle. And now, in here, for the, to get the um, CD player out, there is, uh, usually it's four, but I guess somebody has been opened this, or some didn't install on the factory. There is four screws right here that needs to be open, and then it comes out. So let me do that, and then come back to you. Ah, but before you do that, always put a, rags on top of your things here so you not messing up your uh, trim when you pull out the radio because the radio does not uh, like doesn't have to be unplugged completely it just needs to be coming out enough to change the plugs on the back so bolt where all the screws are out uh, never pull it from the plastic uh, because it will break off so just slide it from the metal lift it up a little bit and slide it out and then there is a bunch of plugs behind here so from here if you want you don't have to uh, remove all of them but what you need to definitely remove is this the big plug and then also the GPS one so because we're doing uh, GPS on both then we're gonna put the blue wire in between here. The GPS splitter. So what you find is that blue cable that you pulled out. Put it in there proper way. Clip to clip, clip it in. One side goes back to the old radio. 
that's still gonna stay inside of the car plug it in and then that's ex uh, other side goes to the screen on the top so we, this needs to be routed to the top with all the other harnesses that are you know like necessary for the screen so this plug goes also on the top so these all need to come out somewhere here so what you need to figure out now is where you're gonna route them so everybody finds their own way so but then on X, X5 it's pretty easy you know like there's a lot of uh, uh, cables running up and down so you can just go from here just be sure that you don't uh, broke anything or got stuck or anything else so just put them on there and then you need to find the worst worst place is to uh, you know like uh, hide these kind of little boxes and stuff that you know like they usually have so if you have these kind of stuff you know like try to squeeze it in see where you can like find a little hole where you can hide it so that's on all you know like probably need to be put the radio back in and then see like how much space we have anywhere else so you need to transfer the um, optical cable to the other plug in here and be sure that it's the same way and go same location mm -hmm. so this is like a pigtail so it comes from one side to another so now you what you gotta do is grab a nut, grab again the one that you pulled out from the uh, radio plug this in properly squeeze it in close it one one side is done and this side goes to the radio again open it up there's a little clip of course it doesn't want to do anything because it's not connected okay got it now this sorry for the loud noises it's a shop where everybody's street racing okay so radio is connecting the antenna for the data uh, 5g 4g whatever you're using so what I found is a good place behind here and then it's like a little metal bar behind here that it's pretty flat so just stick it in there it should be fine it's just an antenna so it should grab the reception well from anywhere and then this goes behind the screen so for these usbs i like to install these into the glove box so what we did is we removed this uh, back plate uh, from the glove box and it's that's that's where you see the we call it hamster wheel uh, the it's the inside uh, blower and then we pull this cable behind here and it goes into the screen from here uh, this is only if you use USBs uh, I just install them sometimes you know like you want to pull a dongle on it or something so it's it's fine it's good to have them you know like so okay to the what we did is you just uh, pull this out from here what you do is pull it backwards a little bit and then it comes off so what I did is this one was on this side first I changed it because we're not gonna use original microphone anymore so we're gonna use the one that comes with the Avian USA so what I did is uh, move this one to the other side and then put a microphone in here and now just we need to wire it all the way to the pillar to the radio and uh, that is really simple what you gotta do is you gotta open the um, sun visor uh, plugs so it leads let's uh, the um, headliner. Uh, let's the headliner come down a little bit and then you need to remove the a pillar to run the wire all the way down and then with another wire you can go across from the dash and then you just uh, basically uh, fish it out. To get the sound on 2011 E70s what you need to do is there is a audio plug that is originally connected in here uh, together. Uh, on some cars it works so before you start doing this aux thing you know like try to try that first you know like does it work with your audio it doesn't work on 2011. Uh, maybe works with some others but what what you need to do is unplug this with it from each other and then use the audio out cable uh, the aux cable that comes with it plug one in him here and then other other end you need to plug in into your aux port in the um, handrest so but to do that you know like we're gonna hide the cable underneath so what we do is we take this plastic uh, there's a little hole in here so what we do is we make a little hole underneath there 
So what, what I'm gonna use is a drill bit and then make a hole in here. And then we're gonna hide the whole cable underneath on the passenger side because we found that it's the easiest place for to hide it. And uh, so what you need to do is remove, uh, where's the piece? This little piece from the side, it's hold with one screw and then with uh, uh, plastic rivets. So what you gotta do is un undo the screw pull it up and then pull pull and then it slides just out uh, we broke one of the clips uh, that always happens with these cars but luckily we have more of them so we're gonna install that and then it's time to probably show what the what's the what's the screen doing but also um, every time when you touch this radio try not to play with the front uh, uh, the button panel because then it, it, it will eventually break off uh, it doesn't it doesn't do anything because it's still you know like connected but what what you gotta do is you know like use uh, little uh, two blobs of glue or something on on these uh, legs and then put it back and hold it for a second and then you know like it will stay stay on again but uh, but yeah sadly these are always you know like uh, breaking if you're not like uh, like they break just randomly you know like if you like uh, even touch it like it because it's hold by four little a plastic uh, corners which is which is idiotic design but you know like it's a BMW so what can we do so 12.3 comes with this plastic bracket 10.5 uh, bolts directly inside here so let's put this on so all the cables that go onto the uh, player I think this is unusable but just in case be sure that you're not missing anything this goes all of them come through in the middle and then it goes in here all the way and then you be sure that the bolt holes are all lined up and then put the bolts on and you're good to go it also has in here is a sim card slot and the memory card slot so what you gotta do is make the sim card not the smallest one but I I think it's, let me see, I think it's even bigger, does it go on the last one, no I think it's this size, so this corner supposedly per the picture is going on the top and then it goes inside here and that's it I guess, yep, slide it in. I don't, I don't think it will ever come out, but that's cool. Ah, it will, okay. It has a click. Okay, so SIM card inside. Uh, we're not going to use uh, memory card. Uh, we use T-Mobile, just data. Um, so now everything is all buttoned up on the radio and everything. Uh, so now what you got to do is connect all of these cables to the screen. I would usually start, you know, like with the ones that need to be threaded in. That's the antenna. Make it so it lines up. So this bra brown reddish or whatever color it is goes in here on the green, which is a different color, but we figured out that last time on the last car. And then GPS goes on the GPS. Right here, need to probably get closer, and then it's all these three plugs, which are not long at all. So what you gotta do is just squeeze in in here and plug them all in. One, but that's only you know like if you're using these functions. If you don't use these functions, you know like you don't have to plug them in. Main cable you can all you need to always plug in. Uh, one. Two. And where's the main cable? Okay. We well, lost the main cable. Uh, now the main cable, where all the power and everything comes, it is really tight in here. So if you can get more slack of these, that's that that would be great. Somehow we did not. Okay. Plug all in. Okay. Now slide it up need to hide all of these stupid cables behind this plastic piece in here be sure that you tape you know like the aux connectors and everything 
and now it just needs to uh, go into the grooves in here and slide in and slide down and we have a screen a screen protector is on and now we're gonna put the battery on and show you a little bit of the settings So what we figured out in settings, you go on the factory settings, you need to know the pass, password, which is usually all the, all the time the same. So on car display, we using ninth option for CIC 7 series 2011. The E70 didn't work for us. It's for the original radio. So if you go here, it looks the same as original, has map and everything. That was the only one that was working for us. Um, Let's go back, factory, and then CAN protocol, we are using the last one, it works, so don't know, uh, it comes usually with the first one, but we change it a little bit and then we play it around, and that's it, you know, like, and uh, let's change this for a logo, ah, oh, there was one more, Ooh. which one, Ooh, this, right, mm -hmm. boomer can put the ESD performance there okay and then you know like what you what you need to go do is uh, figure out all the settings that you want to use you know like what kind of uh, ampli uh, amplifier you are using Android Bluetooth or OEM Bluetooth we're using aftermarket amplifier because I don't have any amplifier at all on the car so we're gonna put the uh, uh, aftermarket on for just for the subwoofers and then all that all the rest of them you know like so camera stuff whatever your settings is so right now we install the SIM card and you see it's already it seems to be working. Data is coming in. So let's try something quickly. Uh, app drawer. Let's go Play Store. Yeah, so we can see it seems to be working. It's 3G right now. It should go on the 5G eventually. We are inside the room. So maybe because of that it's 3G. And then you can do everything like in your tablet. So Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave the comment in below and we're going to answer as soon as we can.